What would you do to bring the many communities of San Leandro together? So this is a great question, because San Leandro is actually one of the most diverse cities in all of California. And working on the school board, I've had the opportunity and the challenge of trying to connect such a diverse group of communities together. And the first thing we need to do is we need to translate our materials. You know, if you can't offer the materials in Spanish and Chinese and Tagalog and possibly Vietnamese, you can't expect people to feel welcome to our events and feel engaged in their community. So that's the the baseline that we need to do. The other thing we need to do is re-engage our neighborhood associations to support them so that they actually represent the neighborhoods. Right now, our neighborhood associations are, are, are really struggling, and there are a handful of folks that don't represent the diversity of their community. So, you know, when I was on the PTA at Washington Elementary, I went out and I just threw my high school Spanish out there on the line. And was it perfect? No, but people appreciated it. And for the first time, we got our Latino parents attending PTA meetings. And that's what we need to support our neighborhood associations doing in helping them reach out to the diverse community that they represent. The last year, we've had our budget cut. It's really taken a huge cut in our civic and cultural events. If any of you have ever gone out to our events, we have wonderful events, but we celebrate them in sections, meaning that Chinese New Year at the library is huge. It's packed. But I don't know if anybody outside of the Chinese um, community really knows about it or wants or comes out to participate. We also have Cinco de Mayo, but we segregate each one of the cultures to separate events. Honestly, we really need to do more advertising, more multicultural events so everyone comes out you see what a warm and rich culture that we have in San Leandro. The schools, when I first came on council, I really wanted us to take all the city council meetings out to the schools and have the meetings at the school sites. The problem we ran into was recording and making sure that everybody could hear us. But I still would love to do that in the future. Yes, I, I think whether you speak English or another language, we all know what 4th of July is. Everyone that's here, that's why they're here. And I think that we need to, to, to create a 4th of July citywide event, possibly at the marina, where all cultures can be celebrated together, where we can experience our diversity, but also erase these lines of division. Because really, we're all brothers and sisters you know, uh, on this planet. This is one planet. We are one people. And uh, I really, you know, I, I call, when we use the word human, you know, hue meaning many shades and colors and spectrums of light, and man meaning being, spirit, entity. We're all brothers and sisters. We need to get together, have great celebrations, bring back the Cherry Festival, have a 4th of July event, and everyone wants to have a good time in a safe place. And I think we can do that by having more events like the Sausage and Suds, but creating these other ones. So we need to have time together. We need to get to know each other. We need to quit being so, we're so connected with our phones, we've disconnected.